Your name? Okay, are you a Nigerian? I'm a Nigerian. What is this? Okay. Yes. Is that call? Wow. Yeah. I nothing happened to you. Akara is made from it. Okay. Okay. Wow. So what are you eating? So nice. You keep reporting GMOs and then uh, the skepticism as well of its unsafe nature. In fact, some people imagine that if you eat it, you drop dead. So I wish you had a test and I ask you how it feels like. Good. Any different from the usual my mind you eat from conventional beans? Same taste. Wow. The echo as well. The echo. Absolutely no difference. Wow. And I understand they are made from, you know the sauce? Yeah. Okay. No difference. These are GMO products made into food. Mm. Right? Are you scared tasting it or eating it? No. They are safe, right? Very safe. Those were testimonies on the taste of food made from GMO beans and teller maize released in Nigeria, according to the organizers of the ICOP 2024. This became necessary to convince the people of the safety of modern biotechnology. This time is very critical because we have a lot of misinformation, disinformation, I mean, all around. An adoption of biotech products, specifically focusing on the crops Nigeria has commercialized. We have the PBR copy, we have the BT cotton, and then we have um, the Taylor leaves. So we should know that uh, there is immense uh, benefit and potential of uh, biotechnology in terms of agricultural development in our nation. We need to talk. We need not to accept that people who are working for our uh, smallholder farmers, bringing those innovations to the service of the Africans, uh, they should not be treated as uh, people who have brought something dangerous to our people. No, it is safe, the safety is proven, the efficiency is proven, the impact on the economy is proven, so we should go for it and communicate that and ensure that uh, adoption and use of technology is higher, also in agriculture. about sharing and believing because when you learn something, uh, you might believe it uh, halfway, but when you have to share it with other people, uh, it's something that you really have to know deeply and, and uh, we think that sharing ultimately, sharing and believing is we are we're encouraging uh, Nigerian uh, scientists, researchers, uh, and policy makers, regulators uh, to share uh, what they're doing uh, with specific problems. Concerned about the increasing number of malnutrition among Nigerians, the scientist Professor Chiedozi Egesi, in his presentation, called for mass adoption of biotechnology as a solution. According to FAO projections, more than 670 million people will go hungry globally by.
by 2030. And this has been the prevalence uh, uh, since 2015. Um, and that of that, 50% of that number of people will be in Africa. I would like to add God forbid, but it's not just a, a wishful God forbid. We need to take the right actions. And I think, um, again, biotechnology is one of the actions that we need to take and with speed. We cannot let that be our legacy. We must do more now to reverse that trend of hunger. So biotechnology with this vast array of tools, array of tools and techniques offers promising solutions for enhancing agricultural productivity and sustainability. Other speakers echo the need to avail farmers the right information and options to adopt this modern technology, posing it to be the solution to food security and sufficiency. And so we must, as a nation, begin to put our money where our stomach and our mouth is. Our population is increasing every day and these things must be handled for us to make progress in these insecurity infested areas where we are now. We need to adopt this technology, and to adopt it means that more money we need to go there. Unlike uh, some years back, five years back, you can hear that uh, a lot of uh, people are crying that beans, beans is expensive, beans is not available, but there was the release of BT Cowpea, the beans problem has been solved. And that is the vision when we release the um, Teller maize. Now maize is going to be in abundance. Uh, the, the, the farmers are going to produce it and they will earn more money. And for sure, we are not going to be reliant on any foreign country to uh, supply us food. The week long conference, which has had numerous deliberations, is expected to trigger transformative changes, contributing to a future where biotech innovation drives eco-friendly and inclusive economic growth to catalyze innovation through dialogue and the triumph of intellect over ignorance. Here on my plate, I have Eko in Yoruba, Agidi in Hausa, and just like every other indigenous languages, this is a meal made from corn. And this particular meal today is made from the teller maize. Tell the truth, it doesn't taste any different from the conventional ones we have always eaten. And here is moi moi, that beans paste made from the GMO cow here in Nigeria. It is safe from what they say, and I'm eating it. 